Today we're going to demonstrate our technique for chronic medial meniscus repair with a new centralization stitch. There's been some research recently on these chronic meniscus tears and ways to further improve our outcomes and reduce meniscal extrusion. As you can see here, this is a one-year-old meniscal root tear. It was chronic in nature. We used a ball rasp to clean up the meniscal root. The remainder of the meniscus was untouched and in good quality. And there were some minor changes in the medial condyle. We used a curette to clean the area to perform and to improve healing. Following this, we placed two Smith & Nephew tape sutures in the meniscus. Again, you can see here we do not go right towards the actual meniscal root as the quality of the tissue can be poor and there's high pullout probability. We tend to get a much better purchase more medially on the meniscus. Again, we have not had any complications with this type of movement and it allows us to further pull over the meniscus. Given this is a chronic meniscal root tear, we're going to add the extrusion stitch as there's been some good research to demonstrate this may improve overall outcomes and recent studies by Laprade have demonstrated more biomechanical construct with adding a secondary extrusion stitch. You see we can pull these through the tunnel of our meniscal root repair and we're able to pull this meniscus almost all the way back to its anatomic origin. But given this is chronic and the patient had over four and a half millimeters of extrusion, the decision was made to perform this new extrusion repair stitch. We again use a ball rasp. The key here is you need to use this from the opposite portal. So we usually work from the medial portal for a medial meniscal root. And here we're working from the lateral portal. We use an elevator to elevate the entire capsule off. And then we switch the camera back so you can view that far medial. And we take off the edge of the tibial plateau. This will allow for advancement of the meniscal root and reduce extrusion. Again, we have a cannula in there. We make a anterior medial portal. We use a suture passer with PDS suture to pass the Smith & Nephew tape through the meniscus. And this is more of a central to slightly posterior placement. Following this, we place the passer again in the meniscus, slightly more anterior, roughly rough one centimeter spacing. And here we're going to pass the suture again, that same suture, in a horizontal mattress with the tails facing down. Following this, we use the exact same passer. The nice thing about the Smith & Nephew passer is that it comes with two cannulated systems. So use one for the root medially and one for the medial edge of the extrusion stitch. You can see we drill just off the medial plateau and we have the cannulated metal guide system. Following this we use the passer again. Again we're grabbing from the medial portal now and we pass the stitch as you can see here we are able to pull the meniscus down tightly and pull it over roughly two or three millimeters onto the plateau. This will not only improve our biomechanical strengths of our meniscal root, but there's some more recent data demonstrating this may actually reduce extrusion, which can be helpful in these patients. Even this one is already starting to have some grade two changes of her cartilage. Finally, to finish off the meniscal root fixation, we use this hard bone drill followed by the Smith & Nephew tap. This is so we can place the new helicoil anchor. Following this tap, we use a bobe to make sure we clear any of the soft tissues from this area. We load all four of the tape sutures onto the Smith & Nephew anchor. The trick here is that we dunk it. We turn off the fluid so we can visualize and not have too much extravasation. And then while holding it into the hole, we sequentially tension the meniscal root, working with the stitches closer to the root, following the ones farther away from the root, and then working our way back. This is very important to reduce any further tension and to further move the meniscus closer to the root attachment. Following this, we use the black handle to engage the anchor and hold the sutures where they are. And then finally, we dunk the anchor using the orange handle 
Once it's confirmed to be the appropriate depth, we can remove it easily. And then we can check the pullout strength here. You can see how we've fixed the final construct. Both the peripheral extrusion stitch as well as the root stitches are tightened and there is excellent tension and we've reduced the meniscus back to its fixation site. In addition, you can see we've pulled the meniscus over the plateau for that centralization stitch. And we have good tension and this will overall reduce the meniscal extrusion.